So I've already made the clock. It's an empty game object with the background being a cylinder and the outline being a slightly larger cylinder. And then I've made a collection of the handles. So this is the seconds handle parent. Uh, it's an empty game object that's placed in the middle of the clock. Then we have the actual handle here that's got an offset of half of its length. So if I paste that there and divide it by two, it's at the same place. And the reason why I've done it like this is that rotating the handle around its own axis obviously won't work. But if we have a script attached to, let's say, the parent of the handle and we rotate this, you can see that it starts rotating around this axis, which is where the empty game object is placed. So let's go to our clock, click add component, new script, and let's call that clock. And let's delete our start function because we don't need that. And now let's create our references for our handles. And now let's create our um, seconds multiplier. So this is how fast our time is going to move in the game. So let's put it to real time right now. So let's now write private int in game seconds. This is basically what time it is. So an in game seconds of 3600 means that it's one hour past midnight. So in game seconds is equal to method dot round to int because we want it to be whole numbers. Time dot time times seconds multiplier. So now let's write seconds handle dot transform dot local rotation be sure to add the local rotation is equal to quaternion dot euler parentheses zero in game seconds times 360 divided by 60 and zero so let's copy paste that and what 360 divided by 60 means is basically that it's uh, 360 degrees divided by 60 seconds. So it's 6 degrees per step. And it's uh, 0.1 degrees per step for minutes, for example. And if you want your clock to start at another time, you can write private int time at start. And I'm going to write 10,000. That's around 2 hours 45 minutes uh, past midnight. Let's add that to in-game seconds. So back in Unity, let's drag our handles to the handle slots in our script. Press play. And yeah, there we can see that it's working. Okay, so the clock is obviously missing, um, I don't know what they're called, but I'm going to call them indicators, things that the handles point towards. So let's create an empty game object, let's call it indicators. And I created a script uh, that calculates the positions uh, of all of them. Uh, I'll add that to the description. Um, and now let's create a 3D object cube. Scale that down to 0 0.02, maybe. And 0 0.1. Let's drag that up there. And 0 0.1. Let me duplicate that. Uh, rename that to small, small indicator. And this indicator. And let's divide that by 2. And let's add that to a prefabs folder and delete those. So let's now drag the game objects into the slots and hit play. And yeah, it's working. Let's just drag the uh, indicators game object up a bit. And now we can copy this game object. So copy and get out of play mode and let's delete this whole thing and paste so now we can delete the script as well and now we have the indicators here 
So I hope this helped you. Uh, if you have any questions or uh, want to know how to do something, just let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can make a video about it.